1994. Because certain things very memorable in my life, you know. Mm -hmm. um, 1994, I went to Penthouse. And it's not Penthouse, my record by now. I was recording for a brother named Courtney Cole from Roof International. Anyway, while I was at the studio, Courtney Cole is saying, Yo, me have the baddest little you to come vice. Yo, he might go mash up the place. That song me I go clean the place. Brrr, and, I, and I say, one bag of things. So everybody were there, they know. I said, which little you this is my talk? You know which little you it was? Future Troubles. So when Future Troubles come now, when the man go in at the fight, because we there, they are waiting up. But the way Courtney excited for vice future troubles. The man as him come, him get for go right in a device boat. Mm -hmm. When the man go in a device boat, the man goes so. Them start the rhythm and the man goes so. Higher! Higher, higher. Who? This a one ya. Do! And lick when sang in a one go. See me ya? See me as a little youth. Can't remember see me no boss sitting. See me as a little youth. Okay. Me said, Jesus Christ, how would that man here come do? <laughs> <laughs> no. The man licked the whole studio, the whole of the cute. No man no one going to the vice boot after Pambo. See? This is. And, and may I show you how oh, 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 Port Nicole powerful. Pambo vice the night. And the next man in Pambo box. <laughs> Me wake up the next morning and, and me think that. Someone say me want buzz bad trad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, let me tell you something. The man bust the next morning, literally. We vice the Friday night because me device for a slow rhythm in a fan by low on the vice for a theme rhythm in a. And my vice for a slow rhythm. And when my vice for the slow rhythm, um, me hear my song, me, me asleep. But can we come in from the studio like six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning, you know? So it's like me asleep. A while in my sleep, me I hear uh, my song with my voice. Lo, um, with the Lord as my guide, tell me, who shall I fear? He has been with me through day after day and year after year. While me asleep, me hear that, you know, but me a think say in my dream, this a go on, you know. Because me a say, me just vice a song there around four o'clock in the morning. And me a sleep on my yard. And me a hear it. So me a think say, me, me a say, yo, that dream me a nice, see, man. Me a picture me song a play on the radio. <laughs> me hear the song pull up and me go so. And, and open one of my eye and go so. And look around. Are the radio really a play? You see, after them play my song, my ear fumble. See that? You see that, Gary G. Hey, let me show you a thing. After my song done play, you know, my ear, hi -ya! And I write this up on the bus. The man take one day on bus. <laughs> and it felt something like this, guys. This is what it felt like, right? This is what it felt like. All right. Okay. Look here now. Pick up yourself, Pambo. Look here. Yep, you actually played the wrong song. The song with the history, and me I tell you about the last history is Future Troubles, Aya, Aya, Oh, Oh, the, the one we say, uh, yes, yes. That is the one yes. from 1994. Drinking yes. Roman Red Bull was 2010, 11 right. years ago. Right, it was later. But hey, Hey, you know, me just attack to you and I realize that thing, you know. You see, oh, Father God work in mysterious ways. I was there for the initial voice in a fumble first number one song. And I was there for the next number, the last number one when get so far. You see, oh, life, honey? You're supposed to be there. You were supposed to be there. Yeah, man. Fun, but them always yeah. say me, you an assassin. Them always a mix with you. Yeah, man. Yeah. But me, I say, look how life funny. I was there for 1994 for the break-in of 
future Pambo. And then when Roman Red Bull, I was also present. How coincidental is that? I'm, I'm never, that, I'm never... that is not coincidental, sir. <laughs> that is not coincidental. That's where you were supposed to be. Yeah, man. Well, I, mean, I tell you, God, God is good and great, you know? Yes, he is ever, ever faithful. Man. Yes, yes. God tell me a little God. bit about the song that I started the show with, which is the Glory, Glory Rhythm. Yes. Well, that rhythm now, that rhythm came about, I built that rhythm to voice a combination with Kukudu. Kukudu, hear the song, I love it, but he, 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 re, he recently became a minister. So I say, oh, now I sing a song whereby it, uh, it sounds like it's a lick out for nobody. So I actually turned and voiced the combination with Youth and Green. And, and I still voice Kukudu because he wanted to be on the rhythm. And I voice being a man and a young girl named Chrissy. Now, I'm going to show you a life funny. If you call anybody in New York, they will tell you, say, one fake friend with me and youth and green are the biggest gospel song up there right now. You know Fact. what I'm That's and, fine. And let me tell you something. Me get the most gospel following from that song there. And the wickedest thing, I never did have that song there as a gospel song. Me talk about God in night and thing, but me never have it. Me have it as a thing where me I say, yo, we have to be careful of the people who we call friend. One fake friend, worse than a thousand enemy. And the song end up busting me in a gospel. So me and we and Wanda have three combinations coming out. And one of them, I know is going to be the follow-up for the one fake friend, but that song is going to be so, so monstrous. A song called Tough Times. People, who not tag we and wonder? Tag we and wonder, make him come in for the live, yeah. We and wonder. Yeah, tag him. We and wonder. Just tag him. We and wonder. I can see if I can tag him too, you know. Yeah. You see me? I'm a general man. See you, man. So one fake, what the, the song, One Fake Friend. Yeah. When you when you got the rhythm, you got the rhythm together, and then the word the words the writing was all. Is that all you, or is that a combination? I was the one that wrote that song, and I got some help from. Um, I think I get some line from a virgin stretch at the studio. You know, my engineer when we work it, he's also an artist as well. Yeah, stretch. I don't remember. I don't remember fully that song, but stretch helped me with a woolly part. Him helped with a whole heap of words, they are whole heap of songs. Him and my virgin name, Mafian, who is also a singer, we've been doing some, some work and they've been helping. We are help, we are help for one another, you know? They are help with words and everything and mm -hmm. direction and everything, you know what I say? Because listen, one person can't do it, you know? It needs a team of persons that are energy and are focused, is, is in the right direction, you know what I say? And I know I'm doing some work as well with left side. No people know him as Dr. Evil and Ding. We're, we, we, we're doing some work right now. And me and him actually, we just voice a combination on Saturday. Was it Saturday? Today is what? Sunday? Yes. yes. Um, so it's not yesterday. Day before yesterday. Friday. Mm -hmm. Voice a combination Friday. And the song start run with. The song does start <laughs> Your music funny, yeah, man. Listen, it's listen, funny. Mr. G. I have so many different artists on here. And I think that is so fitting. I have sisters that are on here. Well, not blood sisters, but spiritual sisters that are so talented. Brothers, Hedda Rose, Yoda, 21. There's so many of you on here. And if I'm missing you, I'm sorry. But this is where you want to be today. Because this guy is the guy. He's the it. He's the it. So I suggest that you guys, if you are not following him, please do so. Heather Rose, this is for you. I think this is your door. Um, please follow him um, on here and make sure that you're staying in touch with what he's doing and stuff. Reach out to him if you're on here as well. Um, I, I just love that you guys are on here supporting and hearing this is very, very important because there is a business aspect of the beautiful side of entertainment and music and what 
we get as society is the beautiful, beautiful end result of what people like Mr. G Goofy has placed before us, okay? So, fake friends, I want you guys to take a listen. No fake friends, no fake friends. Love alone, Mr. Love alone, Mr. Love alone, you know? Yes, let me tell you, Mr. G, I have had... Um, I, I looked forward to you on Mother's Day, but like you said, the universe gives you what it is you need and you weren't feeling too hot. And then yeah. today, I still had the opportunity. I'm glad that you're feeling better. And yeah. I've always told you guys this. Be blessed in what you have and where you're at in your life. That is life. And for me, this is a blessing, being able to talk to this man today and not having to say, Oh, you guys, you know, delayed or RIP. He's here right yeah. now. He's present right now. And I can give him his accolades and say, yo, I am proud to have had the opportunity to sit with a legend like yourself today and give the people the opportunity to also be introduced if they hadn't already known yourself. So thank you so very much. Well, give thanks and praise. You know, may I say, um... As I said, being in the music and being here present on earth is, I don't take it for granted. But thank God every single day for waking me up, for putting me to bed, me and my, my friends, my family, the good heart, the God hearted people. Because when I pray, when I just pray for myself and my family, you know what I say? For yeah. all the people, I know, say, yo, they are true believers in the Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. You don't have to be of a specific religion. But as long as you acknowledge that there is a creator of heaven and earth, the Almighty will forever look out and bless you. You know what I say? Yes, um, yes. You know, you know one, of, one of my greatest joys as a human being is helping to nurture young talent and seeing them blossom into becoming big artists. You know what I say? Um, you have artists like merciless which i was the one that voiced them up while i was still at stone love you know me i say gave him the break you know you have you like vegas or we make come vice ed zaya main street and thing um you have tok we carry them go vice them anytime we book a new girl she have it. you know mad Andrew, what is father you know chico you know me i say um you have artists like I have Tien, Idonia, Version, wow. Chicago. You know, I was the one that went for Dexter Dops in Seaview, and Dexter will tell you anytime you talk to him. I was the one that went for him. He was there amongst an ex label for only for years and it wasn't working. I go for him and I tell him, say, yo, your time come from the clock. It so happened that it's not my rhythm. Boss him, but is because me go for him, make we vice him from my bridging rhythm, which is Triton, from Triton music, you know me I say? But I was the one that when he just find the two lines, and if she obtained man, me tell him, say, yo, this are your boss, sir. And me call Triton and say, yo, life funny, cause and my rhythm, Dexter find the big song offer, a your rhythm, and, and you know me, I say, see Dexter come bust, say, you have you like version, I we carry them in at the business, same way. A whole heap of people, man. RDXM can tell you that I'm the one that discovered them from an early time, from when it was like, them the name Excitement Gang with five of them. Likewise, the Vice Mail. A whole heap of people, you know me, I say? Yes, yes. A whole heap, whole heap of yes. people, and we've, do, we've done my, a lot. My sister is on here, Mr. Jim. Sorry, we can't, we can't. Miss Sari, my sister's personality is just as big as mine. I'm going to have to talk to her right now, Miss Sari. Yeah. So my sister is on the line. Her name is Heather Rose. Heather, Heather Rose. Rose. She already have a superstar name. Heather Rose. She already have a one name. Yeah. And she's an artist, a visual artist. She draws beautifully. But okay. she's quirky and loving. But she's also an artist and an instrumentist. She plays different instruments. Yeah. So Heather, please follow Mr. G. Mr. G, <laughs> please follow my sister, Heather. Oh, good. All right. That's she's good. amazing. I mean, when you meet her, you will see she's amazing. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah. Um, 
I, I just, I, I'm beside myself. Um, I told um, my better half today that um, I don't know how I was going to do this interview because you're such, to me, to me, you're so huge, you know what I mean? And, 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 and having the opportunity to have you here in my little space is such a blessing. Um, before you go, producing, writing, which one you say would be more fruitful? You know, all of them have them benefits, you know, because I've done well as a producer, you know, um, I've done well as an artist, you know, may I say, they both have their strong points and they have them low points as well, mm -hmm. you know, may I say, but it's for you to balance out because in a earth, you know, remember, I said, not, not all, not easy, you know, no matter how, how good it looks, you know. You know, mm -hmm. I say, so you have ups, you have downs, and you have mm -hmm. midways. You know, I say, being a mm -hmm. being an artist, what what it what it does is mm -hmm. for you to witness first hand when mm -hmm. people are enjoying what you've done. Mm -hmm. Like like like, me tell people performing. I think is my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. I like going to a country and pulling. A fifty thousand, a forty thousand, you know me I say, people into venues like myself and Red Rat, because throughout my career I've not really, where I say, do a whole heap of shows with a whole heap of other artists because most of the times when promoter booking myself or booking me and Red Rat, we don't necessarily need the other artists and to pull the crowd. We are crowd pullers. You know me, I say, so we've enjoyed most of the success um, pulling the crowd as individuals or as a duo most of the times. You know, we, we book up on, on shows now and then with Dini. You know, I've done... Um, You've done the Kite Festival in Jamaica where I've met you, which you don't remember, but is that right? No, man, me don't. No, man, me do Kite Festival. Gary G thing, man. Yes. Yeah, man, yes. Yeah, man me do Kite Festival. But you see, God has been good to me that I've done this. You, you know, 90%. that's how I know you because we're, we're part of the Island Rhythms is part of the Kite Festival team. Okay. So that's how I was able to um have yeah. the opportunity to be blessed to see you perform. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and that was a nice thing. Gary G always gets some big crowd, I'm thinking. Them. And put the right artist then. You yes, know, yes. Put, and put the right artist then. And thing. Yes. Um, but I mean, God has blessed me that we've done a lot of things. We've set a lot of um, first things into motion. Like mm -hmm. myself and Rat were the first ones to go to Costa Rica. You know what I say? Um, we've been doing Africa from 1998 until mm -hmm. this point. You know, um, places like Tartola, I think me and Rat was the second Jamaican artist for go there. I think Shaba was the first, and then me and Rat. You know, we, a whole heap of things, man. We've done the MTV, yes. we've done MTV Europe many, many, many times. Yeah, yes. We've done BET two times in America. You know, me I say, I, I was the first artist to get one entire page in Vibe magazine. For those who don't know Vibe magazine, that was the biggest hip hop magazine in yeah, America. Yeah, if you don't know about Vibe magazine, then you ain't really, you can't talk about hip hop culture or pop culture. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my, my, my article in that was the next, was on the next, because I did start transition in America. So then they give me one whole page. And back then, dancehall artists we used to get it's only for small pictures around 15 and we would have pack up around at the back near to the ending of the magazine so when I got the, the, the page, the entire page in at the center it was a big deal you know what I say um, but I mean as I said God has been good we've done a lot and throughout it we've maintained humble you know what I say we maintain to be mm -hmm. humble and and level headed. Yes. You know, man, so because that is a, yes. that and, is and, a, and, and that is so important because it's right it's now we live in a society where hype, um, anything for a little hype is is what's happening. Um, and so we're losing the aspect of what's real. 
entertainment and, and opening doors like yourself for others. So I'm glad that, that you're here and we, we know that hype is a one day thing. Hype is our, it's something that goes away, but living and being humble is a way to receive and to, to live closer to what's real. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. As I tell people, you know, hype is something we need to maintain, you know. So when you're not hype, you just know, live and go through. And, and I tell every artist this. Try to separate the artist from the actual individual. Absolutely. Like Chad Simpson. No Chad Simpson different from Mr. G or Goofy. Absolutely. You know and I, I tell say? people that all the time. I say... I, have, I manage as well. I do management and booking. And so a lot of my artists get caught up in, uh, in business. They ain't got no business doing it. And I have to remind them, listen, right now you're working with me and you're an artist. You're not the daddy. You're not the husband. You're not the wife. You're, not the, you're the artist right now. And so a lot of them have their hands in so many different things that they miss out on, on so much because they're doing too much. And it's just, let me just get this one song out. It's a, high, it's a hit. No business investments. They haven't looked at royalties, or they even haven't looked at the, the, the record contract they've gotten. It's just for that one time, and that's it. Yeah, and 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 I think people definitely, as I said, need to separate that because listen, at the end of the day, you know, if sickness or anything else come across, it don't business who you are. You know, I said sickness no business who you be if you're the name the biggest thing and this and. So just listen, just live and humble yourself and just live good with people. And me always tell people, listen, members say not one cent not going down in the grave with you, you know. So help who you can help, do what you can do. Me not tell yourself, or put yourself out on a limb whereby the branch broke mm -hmm. off and thing, but yeah. help as much as possible because, listen, and not necessarily the ones that will help are going to come through for you at the end of the day, you know. But guess what? The Almighty were up above, not sleeping. And him say, I know your heart. And know, say, God look out for him, pick them just like how Satan look out for him, pick them too. You know what I say? God will more reward you with a good life. Satan use you till him not no more use for you. Then he just deal with your wicked. You know what I say? So yeah. even know which, which side of the fence they're on. You know what I say? There's good and evil in everything. Choose this side. Don't let money lead you down a path that there is no return. Don't sell your soul. You see me? Yes. Yes. Because light has to win. The light has to come out. Out of darkness, there is light. A pregnant mother gives birth. The baby is born into light. A flower is planted in the dirt. It comes out into light. So it's best that we just stay in the light. Right, Mr. G? Which is right. Big up. Yes, right. Big up, my friend. Big up, my friend. Wife up on the line to in a shell stew. Yeah. Shell stew, yes, man. Big up. Yes, big up yourself. Craig Cream, yeah, thank man. you for joining us. Christopher Martin was on here. Thank you so much for being with us. And we're gonna leave you guys with the click click riddle and Mr. G. This was awesome, but you know what I would love better? I yeah. would love to actually have you on the actual TV show because as you guys know, Island Rhythms is a TV show. We started doing lives because of the pandemic, but yeah. we're getting back to real life. So Mr. G, I would love to have you on. Um, just a really cool talk. Again, I love talking to you. Thank you so much well, for being on with us today. I pray that your path is clear and that you just mash up everything and touch you just Blow up and money coming out your hand. I saw a say you forget it is a legend. I love you. Thank you for joining Island Middles. And thanks for having me again. And big up to yourself, big up to your team and everybody. You know me, I say. Big up my friend Pops. Big up everybody that stopped by and joined us with the reasoning. It's appreciated because you could have done anything else, but you chose to be here with us. Even if you were here for five or ten minutes or for the entire thing. Big up on the self same speed. Yes, Remember, same that same. is love. Live good and live with love. You know what I say? Yeah, ma'am. Bless that. up yourself. Thanks. Have a good day. Yes,